Well, it's today, right? When you look at communication and media and you look at the different tools we have to communicate in media versus what we had even 10 years ago, it's changing quickly and the more astute our students are when they leave the University of Rhode Island with their degree in communication and media, then they'll be much better equipped to be able to work in the real world and more importantly, uh, contribute uh, successfully in the real world. I think the Harrington School is going to allow us as different majors to come together and adapt to a world that is constantly changing in the form of communications and social networking and new technology. Due to the generosity of Dick Harrington, we now have the Harrington School of Communication and Media. It's a dream that has become a reality. It's exciting times. The mere fact that we have a clean slate, not only myself, but everybody in the school is excited about doing it, then the opportunity we have to really create one of the best in the world is right in front of us, and it's up to us to make it happen. It's refreshing, and it's a new way of teaching, a new way of learning for our students, and it's just a really collaborative energy that I think we can all relate to. We discovered that several different programs had a lot in common and a lot of interests or ideas for the future that could be developed if only we could work together. And those programs included communication studies, film media, journalism, library and information studies, public relations, and also writing and rhetoric. To me, what's exciting about the Harrington School of Communication and Media is the way it brings together a faculty energized around the power of communication to make a difference in the world. The Harrington School is a big idea because of this community involvement. It really pushes for all of the different majors to work together to create these sort of bigger ideas than any single one could accomplish on its own. I think it's really true that great things happen when talented individuals get together. Life is a group process and we'll all need to work together with people in the future and so having that experience in college is really great to get you started. When you look at the global economy, you look at an increasingly globalized society, the importance of communication across all kinds of divisions, boundaries and barriers will be more important for the world's future than it's ever been. In every class that we teach, in every interaction that we have with our students, they are collaborating with one another. It's very active, it's very engaged. They learn to work with one another with a very, very real audience and very real constraint of the real world. The big difference today, of course, is that everything technologically has changed and continues to change. So we also have to prepare our students for that changing world. Journalism is really changing and you have to know how to shoot your own video and edit your own things. And we've been able to do all of that within our classes, so it's really great. We're not teaching what we taught when we were in school. We're teaching what students need to learn today. And as part of the Harrington School, we're all coming in and thinking about the future, what students need now and what they're going to need 10 years from now. It's evolving rapidly in this generation. It's evolving from something stationary to something that changes from moment to moment. The Huntington School is an extraordinarily cutting edge gesture in the world of education because it preempts the possibility of knowing a world in which all these various forms of communication have come together and it produces students who are well rounded. And now that communication studies is, is coming together in this interdisciplinary school with five other academic units, it, it really opens up a, a great deal of possibilities. It's a perfect way to combine them. They all really play off each other very well have the opportunity to work together with colleagues in our other departments much more closely to design new programs. Interdisciplinary courses that would combine film media and journalism in, in a, say a documentary format. So I think there is a, there is a good cross-pollination potential there. It's a really great opportunity to learn from each other and to learn from your surroundings. The new age, the new digital age, is all about merging. Everything is merging together. A student who can write as he shoots. Separations of the disciplines are not important because all the disciplines are almost one.
right? That's what we do. We think big, and regardless of the size of the state, we're going to give you everything that we have, and it's going to be a great journey. The students who come into the Harrington School of Communication and Media now have an incredible opportunity to be at the beginning of this new school, and they're going to be the ones who really make the reputation of the school.